to we had to bully him because we got bullied. <laughs> so he was like sweatpants, helmet, full pads, <laughs> doing blunts and <laughs> jumping the pyramid. Full pads, not full pads, just knee pads. Okay, let him defend himself. I was, I was helmet helped. for sure. Yeah, knee helped. pads, baby elbow pads. I know elbow. Was knee slide. That was the worst. He was knee slider. We're on take one. Ardo cast. Yeah, whatever. You ready? Yeah, yeah ready. anytime. Radio tech. Here we are, check, Arno check. Cast, oh, yeah. episode 18. This is eight. This I, could, I hope 18. I'm right. Z12. Man, who knows? Z12 18 Z12. Dash 19. Dash 19. Who knows? Yeah. Anyways, we're here with a special guest. We have a, a, a local legend. Local legend. In my opinion. Well, that's what uh, everybody's been saying. I'm local. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. local. He's <laughs> local. He's local. And he's a local legend. <laughs> yeah. So he hasn't uh, died yet. Yeah, hashtag Artocast uh, Studio <laughs> Wait, number this... two. Oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it I'll out. I'll turn it around. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything to say? Or... <laughs> do I always just want to guess. Do you want to introduce our guest? Yeah, of course. But I don't Please know. Please do. If we had any shout outs, any... how's the moon going? How's the weather? Ah, uh, the moon went <laughs> down. So we're on a we're on a low moon night. The moon was pretty last <laughs> yeah, night. Yeah, it, it was, was last night. The last full moon. I was pretty. It. Yeah, I'm working. Yeah. Yeah, I was missing. Yeah. What am I, what was the last full moon? It was like last week sometime. Yeah, it's always possible. Big old yellow buddy. Big old yellow buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we talk a lot in the yeah. moon. Yeah. And some wizardry. It by seems like every magic. time Roy comes over, it's a full moon. Yeah. I mean, Shout the moon. out to Roy! Yeah. Roy. <laughs> Roy and the moon. I mean, the moon holds a lot of energy. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Well, he's, he's here. Bring the energy. Yeah. Um, skateboarder. Yes. Levi Faust. I like to skate. America. He likes. He likes that. That's the <laughs> motto of this podcast. I like. Right I like to skate. That's his art. There yeah. could be thousands more. Cool. So. I also like turtles too. So. He likes turtles. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Hell let's yeah. get the right person in the seat. Levi yeah. Faust. Everybody. Hell Enjoy. yeah. Come on. Welcome. Come in. Oh, I have to have sit some... over here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to sit anywhere. Oh, uh, perfect. Here. Sorry. I, 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 we were on. That's cool. I thought I was like, close to what I was at. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. So we're just archiving you, man. Where'd you grow up? Sweet. Uh, I grew up here in Salt Lake. Cool. Since I was three. So I wasn't born here, but this is where I was raised. Nice. Yeah. So this is my home. Love it. Been here. Twenty nine years now. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, so, what high school did you go to? Olympus, right here. <laughs> well, that, you know, I Local. Up, I grew up uh, right across the street from Iceberg. Nice. Nice. Yep. And then, Iceberg, uh, the ice cream place. Yeah, yeah. my, my right aunt. There on night. My Is aunt actually owns it, so it's oh. my family's restaurant. Oh, oh yeah. Uh huh. So my family That's owns that place. <laughs> yeah, so Shout out to the iceberg. The iceberg yeah, is iceberg. good. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't business. like a shape that's like this big? <laughs> I found those yeah. in less than five minutes. Hell yeah. All, all the time. I ate two yesterday. <laughs> you sponsor from that? Dude, iceberg. Iceberg. We'll hook it up. No, no joke. Like <laughs> The people all know me there, so it's like I go help them every once in a while when it's like oh. fucked up busy. Since oh, okay. This time, you know? So, like, any time I go there, they just try to give me free food. Uh, yeah. like, I can pay for it. And they're like, no. I know. <laughs> yeah. it's, so, it's really awesome. I love it. It's like, but, I mean. Dude, Iceberg was my jam, and Nielsen's Frozen Custard was my jam. Dude, that place, it's just right up the street. It's yeah. It's it just, have I mean, you guys seen I, their drive throughs Like, with the no, on it? off the hook. Dude, it's insane. Yeah. Iceberg has at least 15 cars, no matter yeah, yeah, what, yeah. after 7 o'clock at night. And then that frozen custard place has, yeah, I don't uh, even know how many, like so many, so many. It's places. like those soda pop places, the one down here by the dance. Yeah. The old so dance. Uh -huh. I went in the there to get, I went in to the gas station to get some chips or something. Yeah. And dude, it was blocked up all the way out into 2030s, like. Yeah, I'm that's talking insane. like 20 cars, dude. That's like, so what many. What the people. hell is going on here? And then I talked to my sister and was like, well, you don't have kids. Kids like soda. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, can't you buy like a 12 pack of 
Yeah, some soda at the grocery store and give it to him. Leaders. With some ice on it? Yeah. Some leaders. Dude, those places talk to me when I pass by them. Yeah. Yeah. They come on in. All right, so he's a local local skater. Um, I met him through a, a bunch of my friends that are artists and writers and also skaters, and we've, we've run across paths a couple of times. Um, I've also followed you. Uh, give us a shout-out to your Instagram or Facebook or whatever if you want. Oh, my Instagram is at Levin Klein. Levin Klein? There yeah, we go. Levin Klein. Everyone thinks it's my last name, and it's so annoying, but yeah. I just roll with it because yeah. I'm just like, whatever. But... If yeah, people paid attention, and I've seen so, I've seen a lot of your work uh, on there, and then also EJ's uh, EJ's been filming you for quite some time. Yeah, uh, yeah. What was the what was EJ's last movie? Uh, uh, man, there's so many. Kiss the Crunch. Kiss the Crunch. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, but we gotta get EJ. We're gonna get I'll EJ get, on here too. We're getting yeah, his other person next to him yeah. filming yeah. like this too. Yeah. 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 So take us take us down the rabbit hole of how did Let's you get, get the mask on. Or do you want to see Skate. Levi? Huh? Or do you want to keep the mask on, Levi? Keep it oh, on. should I? Okay. We don't. They think we're lying. We don't have the greatest person yeah. skateboarder in SLC. Huh? Yeah, right. I don't yeah, know. He's undercover. That there is not for. There we go. <laughs> not the case. <laughs> well, so take us down the rabbit hole. How did you get into skating? Man, uh, I think just one day I saw like a kid that's like my elementary school had a skateboard and was like trying kickflips like in the parking lot one day like after school and. I just was like so intrigued by it and I was just like, whoa, that is crazy. And yeah. then just like, I don't know, like a couple weeks later I like saw this movie called like The Skateboarding Kid or something. It was like about this kid that had a skateboard and it was purple and you could fly on it. Like, <laughs> and, like you'd go off a lot of and you'd fly all the way over school yeah, yeah. and like end up at home, what? you know. But like it was a crazy. It was, it was, was like it like a Nickelodeon. I think yeah. it was called Skateboarding Kid. Did you no, ever it was see? Like a legit did movie. you ever Gleaming the Cube? Huh? Gleaming the Cube. I think that sounds so familiar. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. an old eighties skate movie. Really? With, uh, yeah. Christian Slater. That yeah. sounds right? sick. Yep, Christian Slater. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. it was Pal who filmed it. It was like they were trying to like. It was uh, like Pal Peralta's film. Yeah. That's empty. That's sick. Empty pools and shit like that, like yeah, dog towns. Just, yeah. If you have I mean, this is nothing like that. This was so corny and stupid, but it was just like, <laughs> it just caught my attention. It was just like, I don't know. It's like Airbud, but yeah. skateboarding style. Instead of a dog, it was a skateboard. Not, not, like, yeah, future hoverboard. Yeah, no. What was your first skateboard? Holy crap. I think it, my first real, like, non Walmart board was like, I got it from my uncle's shop when I was a kid when I lived in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That's where I was born. Oh! I was born in Coeur d'Alene. I want to go there. I've heard it's so beautiful. It is way pretty. Yeah. I've been back my whole life and then I hadn't been there for like eight years until like two years ago. When That's awesome. I visited my hometown. It was kind of trippy on seeing how much like urban development yeah. had gone down because I lived on a farm like with cows and chickens and goats and shit, you know? Yeah. And like, just seeing all that land with like, houses on it and Apartment curbs. buildings. Like, on just like, corner. dude, it was insane. Yeah. Just like, seeing my old, my dad's old house, like still there, and then just a curb straight it's kind in of front what of they're it. Doing it was just though. like, whoa. It's kind of it was just like, like, a, yeah. like a reality check. It's like, damn shit changes, you know? Yeah. But like, freaking, yeah. So, that's uh yeah I went back there like a couple years ago but um first board first board was at my uncle's shop thank you I got sidetracked <laughs> no but you said something yeah, about you were riding Walmart board yeah. I think I got like a ghetto board from like Nash. the big five or something yeah. like it was big just five. like a board that's like the wheels are like tightened down <laughs> stiff where they don't even roll on like it's yeah. like 
a piece yeah. of wood that the lamps in like a day if you leave it outside. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like freaking ten ply. Like so, like my dad like knew like hey that's not like if you really like this that's not what you like you need yeah. like and so my dad or my uncle owned a bike shop in Coeur d'Alene and he sold skateboards and freaking we went there and picked it out and I picked out a flipboard Jeff Rally the one with the cat from Alice in Wonderland with the swirly eyes I remember the graphic it was the cat with the swirly eyes and it's just that flip yeah it was kind of like the Cheech and Chong one but <laughs> with the Alice in Wonderland cat and how old were you? I was probably like 10 nice 10, 11 hell yeah somewhere around there yeah yeah that's when I started it was like around 9, 10 so were you rolling the, the streets of Coeur d'Alene? no I, like I mean, kind of. Coeur d'Alene back then was really spread out. I lived, yeah. I didn't even have cement to try to skate on. What was way cool, my dad was a G. He like, so we lived on a farm, no cement anywhere. Yeah. So we went to Tidyman's, which was like Albertsons like back then. Yeah. Like, and went to local grocery stores and just like grab pallets out of the back. And like, my dad would, just, we would just swoop pallets and my dad laid out a whole flat ground and pallets and then built me a half pipe next to the pallets with a box, a quarter pipe, a oh, flat rail shit. and then he had a trailer that a bank went up to the trailer and with two rails on it and then the trailer was my deck and I had a whole skate park flat ground like half pipe zone like in my front yard. <laughs> That's fucking like, awesome. And I went there every summer and every like nice. holiday. And so how old were you when your dad built that for you? Were you I was like 13, 14. 13? Okay, so you, like my yeah. mom had custody of us, so we'd go visit our dad every ho yeah. in the holidays in summer. And summer was like an eternity for a little kid out there. Yeah. So three months felt like a year. <laughs> so like my dad would do anything to like make us happy and to like know that we liked being there, you know. Or like yeah. he liked us being there. He loved us, yeah. you know. So yeah, freaking just went out there and like had so much fun with my dad, you know. Yeah. And then. So was your mom living back here in Salt Lake? Yeah, my mom was here okay. in Salt Lake. Cool. So you're out there, you're out there doing that with your pops, and you got all that set up. Let's take you into like, let's say, your like high school, older, nineteen year old. Like, where are you skating? Are you street skating? What are you doing? You know, once you. Advance so, your skills because you're obviously way advanced to your skills. Where I started, like advancing my skills, it was it's crazy. I learned how to push down the sidewalk right over here on 39th and 9th to ice nice. Nice. That, that Just going back and forth from my house at Seb, right across the street from Iceberg. I remember not being able to push along that sidewalk at all, just falling every big crack. You yeah. Know, and just like being so frustrated, and then all of a sudden I was. And some gym I skated that. Yeah, getting way it. better. Oh. I'm like just feeling comfortable going down the sidewalk. And then I was introduced to this place that was, oh, I'm so sad it's gone, but it was my favorite place in the world called Connections. It was a skate park on 39th and State Street. Like, it was Connections. It was owned by Mike Murdoch and like a bunch of like local legends, but from back in the day, it had like ends on it, like Andy Pitts and freaking. Greg Rotniak and Joe Namath and freaking man, those are all names I haven't said in so long. Yeah. Rice, like used to black rice, I don't know how it's called. But did it, did it have like a a six a short half pipe there and then a big one? No, that yeah. was real ride. That's right. I think you're talking about. about. Do you remember T H V? Mm mm. The boarding house? No. That was an old one. I remember Will Ride, yeah. Proving Grounds, and Connections, and uh, Binary. Nice. Binary. Those are all the indoor parks over here, but the one that I progressed at and actually like started learning was Connections, because it was right down the street from my house, yeah. and I'd just skate down the road a mile or and a half or so, and <laughs> end up there. And then Classic. After skating the sidewalk and just struggling to get there, like yeah. over time, actually skating, it was just like 
Yeah, I, I just knew I loved it, and I was not stopping, no matter what. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of your footage, and some of the stuff I've noticed is the height that you get. You get a, you, you do a lot of height. nice high oh, jumps. Oh, height, yeah. 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 You I'm, know, and like, it's like, damn, dude, this guy's got four wheel drive. Knees of fucking steel. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. Who, who have been in some of your biggest influences as far as skating goes, whether it's locally or just in general? In general, damn. I have to say, freaking, there's a lot of like older pros that like always caught my eye. Like, but like, the people that I looked up to the most was like the locals that like I like always saw growing up skating and like yeah. in person, you know? And like, a lot of those people like are still like my really good friends, you know? Yeah. Like, for, like, I. I name like Caleb Orton. I name Sam Hubble, obviously. Sam is this dope That's motherfucker. My best friend, obviously the sickest skater ever. And then I would say Cheese, Jason Guy and Cheddar. I'd say Side Big Moore. He never. I looked up to that dude a lot. He was like yeah. mind blowing back in the day when I skated. And then obviously Oliver Buchanan and. Dirty Hadley, those two. We're gonna right get there. these guys all out here too, right? Yeah, I'll try to. Dirty Hads, you're coming next. I'm here in the Dirty. Name. <laughs> dude, watching Dirty Dirty's parts. Dirty's around here a couple of yeah. times. Dude, We've watching Dirty's here. parts back in the day, like, dude, it was just like no one had more fucking balls than Dirty. Yeah. Like, he just would, like, and, dude, he'd just fucking go for shit no matter what. And it wasn't scary to watch. Like, most people that just go for shit, you're like, oh, oh my god. But, yeah. like, him, it was just like, Mm, fucking get that shit, dude. Like, you know, you got it. Like, it was, like, so sick watching him skate. Like, he never, like, tripped or fucking stressed out. He was all goofy and happy all the time. Yeah. Singing songs before he hit shit, you know. <laughs> it's like, let me sing a Depeche Mode song before I fucking jump down this 13th yeah. there, you know. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> him and uh, Jay Grant, shout out Jay Grant and uh, the Bat were down here in this studio with Snugs is in now. Mm -hmm. Back when I first got here, so I got to know a couple of those guys. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I've seen Hads around. He's yeah. Apparently, from what I've heard, is he's a professional pickleball player now. Dude, he fucking kicked my <laughs> ass so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I played him a few times. He he'll work you. I got a few. Do you need another brew? No, I'm good. I'm still sure. Morning. All right. I'm a slow sipper. <laughs> Some of the people I've, uh, you know, I don't skate, but I've been into the art scene. That's how I come into this, is art-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, surf, skate, obviously, I used to be a really good snowboarder of somewhat, not Steve? fame. Just, yeah, <laughs> Tuber. just a powder guy. Sick. And um, so, I like uh, Christian Fletcher's son. Uh, what did you say? Name? <laughs> Fletcher. Jack. Uh, Fletcher. 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 Yeah. Come on, he's now he's easy. Yeah. Who are you guys talking here. about? Christian Fletcher? No, like Fletcher. His son. Yeah. Was a surfer? Fletcher. <laughs> What's his name? You'll say. What's Fletcher's it. first he's name? Element. Who's <laughs> Fletcher? Can't see. See? All right. No, no, no I know Fletcher? who it is. No, I know. Grayson. Grayson no, no. Fletcher. Grayson. You always Grayson. talk about Grayson. it. Yeah, yeah. Grayson. No, he's got oh, Grayson. He's like, he's he like a Grayson. high flyer. Grayson and it kind of reminds Fletcher's me of some shit. of your street style yeah, work. There you like, go. I've right seen there. your videos where you're flying off like 20 foot fucking That's like Grayson. shit, you know? Yeah. Like, Grayson Fletcher. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'm just light and fragile. I mean, not <laughs> fragile, just fucking <laughs> light and yeah. flimsy, I guess. I don't even know. You absorb it very well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, I don't know, fucking, I have long legs, short body, yeah. basically, so I have hops. I can dunk a basketball, so oh, I yeah. figure, figure if I can jump high, I can jump high on my skateboard. Yeah. You it's go. just got to gotta get the Classic. time right. <laughs> Do you have a long dick? <laughs> That'll keep it myself for the moment, okay? Oh, <laughs> well, you're talking about all your other long experiments. Well, I don't know. No one asked you. Okay. I have, I'm, not, I'm just sitting here. My torso is very high, if you guys were to look. Yeah. 
Hey, uh, Tolly, tell us a bit about when you first met him. You said he was this big? Uh, yeah, tell me where you met him. Uh, uh, <laughs> Theo mentioned COVID! Theo has mentioned him all. Yeah. I'm <laughs> over here because I have COVID. I'm two <laughs> feet away from him. <laughs> Um, well, he had a yellow helmet at Connections. Always wore sweatpants. Connections? Talk about connections. So talk about connections. Yeah, well, that's where everyone knows him because yeah. Connections was the fucking pot. And so we were the old guys. I was like the middle guy. There was old guys, and then he was the youngest. He was the baby. I was yeah. the baby then, for And sure. so, yeah, I was like the up-and-comer, and he's the baby. So I, I kind of had to, we had to bully him because we got bullied. <laughs> so he was like sweatpants, helmet, full pads, <laughs> doing blunts and <laughs> jumping the pyramid. I didn't have full pads, not full pads, just knee pads. Okay, let him defend himself. I was, I was helmet called, for sure. Yeah, knee helmet, pads, baby elbow pads. pads. I no elbow. Was knee slide. That was the worst. He was knee slider. So that's how we learned all this shit. Because we were just no pads. Nice. Had to uh, run it out. He learned how to knee slide. Yeah, I did. And that's probably why you're good at vert. I mean, or whatever. I don't fucking knee slide at all anymore. Yeah, okay, but you, you from all that. None of us. We never got good at vert. None of us. <laughs> but he did. And uh, yeah, so yellow helmet. You know the Andy Mac style. I can't believe he remembers the yellow helmet. <laughs> we all remember this. <laughs> sweats. I used to wear sweats too. And so do you still wear sweats? Fuck. Yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. Me too. And so all the time skating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I know I, I I I liked him back then. I we talk and then uh his mom your mom worked at the courts back then. I get skate tickets. Maybe that's why I tried to be nice to you because I thought I could get out of tickets. Your mom was like a clerk. No, she was the district manager. Yeah, she was. I remember because I was getting a skate ticket. No, 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 she was the Salt Lake County. Court. So I'd be at Lake <laughs> County Court. I, oh, no, but she'd be in there during the hearing, like doing something. I remember her because I'd be doing a skate ticket, and she'd be like, "You got a skating ticket? Blah blah blah. My son's Levi. Blah blah blah." And I was like, yeah. <laughs> So your mom got, your so mom got you. Can you put the good word in to the judge? There was this there was this black lady judge <laughs> back then who had fucking cornrows back in the day. I'm telling you. We're dude. talking. I, and I'd always uh, see her. Uh, back in the day, we were in and out of the courts a lot. Now for wait, skate uh, tickets. This is a different yeah, aspect. I want to ask a question here. This is a very different aspect I haven't been aware of. Cops would actually give people tickets for skating all the time oh yeah how much yeah. would it cost you if you had to pay one time off back like I fought one I took one to uh, like testimony had the, the cops had to come in I fought one and won under oath take an oath what were they trying to charge you trespassing mm -hmm. but how much money it was like between well it depends on the well, year trespassing like tickets like 40 up to like 200, 200 like yeah Jesus Christ yeah, yeah my first crazy. ticket I got when I was like 14. And I was in and out of the course till, you know, 18. You can get away with that shit. So they just give you this little ticket. <laughs> and yeah. you, you learn how you. <laughs> I ran from cops. Like, you figure out how to deal with the cops, you know? Yeah. You At a young you age. You definitely At a young do. age. That was good street knowledge for the <laughs> skater life experience. Yeah. I don't know how it is now, but back in the day. They were pretty aggressive with the ticket. They tried to take us. They were trying to take me and Milton to court. From for literally, there's a bo broken down building that they demolished. That they demolitioned it, and there was just nothing yeah. but the outer rims of it. And then people made a box in the middle of this broken down building that you can ollie over the wall and then hit the box and ollie over the other wall. And like fucking, we're just there skating, and the owner of the property pulls up, and fucking. Starts screaming at us, and, like it starts accusing us for doing all of this stuff that was already there. Like I mean, stop, start skating. Yeah. And then gets the cops involved to cause the cops, and then gets us in court, and like literally tries to like accuse us and convict us of fucking destroying his property. Wow. Like when they just demolition a fucking building. <laughs> like what? <laughs> 
You like, like this rock. Dude, yeah. literally, that's what the cop said. I mean, not the cop, you but the judge. This the judge was just like, you just demolitioned a building there. And some of those judges just, are wise. And yeah, and, they, and you got, you're, yeah. I mean, she was literally like, and you're trying to convict these kids of what? Vandalism? <laughs> Second demo <laughs> Vandal- Demo number like, two. <laughs> like, literally, she had photos of the place. Uh, uh, yeah. And it looked like a fucking junkyard. And, it, like, it was just like... That's why she laughed. She's she told him I'm here like, to finish the job. Always like, question what? someone's... Ag- what's yeah. his agenda? What's always question the agenda. <laughs> yeah. I was just like... Power! Oh, power! He wanted uh, power! That's all it was! Yeah, dude, I thought we were... Fu- that's all he wanted was power. Like, that's it. It's always the, the agenda. Ugh. Like, oh, it wasn't like, money, it was power. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was just so hyped to judge. Like, I did not expect that. I thought we were just going to get fucked. Yeah. But me and Milton were just like, ha! <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck off, dude. See, like, you literally, like, just want to fuck with us. Like, Milton like, Martinez? Huh? Mil- no, oh. no, Milton. That owned, yeah. uh, half and half. Oh, okay. I walked in halfway. Through. Jeez. Like, so smoke you know, standing here. I, uh, I, uh, I broke so into the St. George part. Let's, uh, let's focus on yeah, no, what uh, we want to promote you. Uh, what's the future? What do you see in the future of your skating? Future of my skating? Yeah. What do you I see? Like, see are you going to take it to another level, or? No, I'm not to, I'm not so you're a purist, it. basically. I gave up on doing anything for with skating, like a while ago. It's been pure enjoyment for me. Good for you, man. Pretty much my whole life. Oh, yeah. Like, at one point I thought maybe I could, like, be good enough to where I could travel with a crew and you fucking be hooked up or whatever. Can. I know still I could. Will. I mean, I could, but will. now I've decided that's not really what I want to do. That's how people are with me about my art. Like, go be in an arts festival. I'm like, yeah. no. Come come buy my art out of my yeah, studio. Have you tried the contest thing? Yeah. Like the we, contest thing? We are purists. I've always... Been out of the contest. Right. I haven't been to any yeah, of those. Yeah, right. But. <laughs> what? I just right. like. I don't know. You'd be, you'd be just a fixture at the Tampa Park. The Iceman never freezes up. I could, you'd be I a could fixture, be like, just to go I and have fun. I don't care, dude. I've never really cared to try to travel. I mean, like, I can't really say that because I've been disappointed because I, I really couldn't. Because, like, my whole 20s, basically, I've always been in trouble. So I've been on lockdown on the state. So I've always had to get permission to leave the state, and I was always denied. And I would have to like always be drug tested and blah blah. blah. I got no me. fair. That's no fair. Yeah. So no fair. There was one time like yeah. when I was twenty, I got caught with weed and had to be on probation for two years. Did the whole thing. Fucking got let off. Left the state. Came back. Got caught with weed again. And I had a skill on me that I lost a long time ago. But obviously the cop. Wouldn't believe oh, me. that means you're instantly dealing. Yeah, instantly oh, dealing. Oh, he's got a scale. And he's had, dealing. And I had an ounce. And yeah. then literally, I got charged with distribution. Hopefully, then, those days are over. With that. Yeah, Utah cops, literally. everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. And Not then, even Utah cops. Back well, in the day, that was everybody. Yeah, dude. That was, yeah. It was so <laughs> fucked. And then, uh, I was on probation for two years for that, and then I fucked up in the middle somehow for not showing up for a drug test just because I didn't fucking remember to call that day. Yeah. On accident, and my number did get called, <laughs> and I just my buddy went and they they let le- they yeah. literally extended it a whole fucking year for that, oh, a whole God. year, man. dude. It was so fucked. I was I cried for a week. Did you ever use the Wizenator? No, <laughs> no. I fucking I just quit. I just quit every time. The I, fake penis when I you never, go in for a drug test. You I just in the fake always penis. quit. Oh. Just always quit. You Not worth the paranoia. You I told think. me about it. <laughs> And then the last time I was on probation, I was at a Little Wayne vs. Drake concert. Got super fucked up. Lots of drugs. Wasted. And got lost. And ended up fucking in jail for oh, assaulting. Like a blackout? Kind yeah, of thing? Like, yeah, and then I guess I got charged with assaulting four people, three women, and a cop. What? Yeah. Were you pussy grabbing? What, what no, are you t- no, like, it, the description, <laughs> the, the... Everyone cools, does it? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, the <laughs> cop report that I got, like... Was he screaming? Everyone, like, there? talked in it or whatever. But... 
I don't know. It, it what do you just? What, how can you assault that many people? I wa- I was walking through like a, a group of people on a blanket. You never know what happens, man. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. What well, so was this that? Is, this is what it. Or said. you weren't taken away because of the record or anything. No, this is what it said. I'll, I'll tell you, a freaking. It said that I was walking across a group of people and like I stumbled through them, and they were on a blank. They had a blanket and like I got their blanket all dirty and some dude like told me to like, get off. But like he, someone said that he saw them him grab me and like pull me close, and then. I didn't mention this earlier, but I did take Muay Thai for six years, so okay. there we go. Ooh. Ooh. I've gone pretty far in that, and so that's a sk- natural that's instincts skin. just kicked in, and I fucking ended up knocking this dude out, and then their his whole crew tried to fight me, and it was a bunch of Latino Mexicans. Yeah. So they all tried to fuck me up, and Damn. like this chick, like I was on top of so much grab my fro because I had a fro at the time and she <laughs> like I just I instantly like threw my head back and I like, broke her nose and then Whoa! and then fucking like this other chick tried to like I don't know I hit this chick's boyfriend and she tried to like tackle me and I like somehow like threw her into like this stand and like she like um, like fucked herself up pretty bad and then a cop came up behind me and grabbed me and then I did the same thing and like threw my head back and then got him and then let me go and then I turned around and elbowed him and somehow he, he was down like and I looked down and it was a cop to everybody yeah, yeah. Muay Thai, Muay Thai is all an art about defense yeah. so it's like if you're being attacked it's a perfect form yeah. of fucking like defense, you know, but I don't know. I just what's uh what's your setup these days on your ride? My ride? Yeah, your, your skateboard. Your skateboard. Oh, what kind of setup? <laughs> my car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll tuck in the motorcycle. Uh, sure. Wow! <laughs> All right, like, some cords, so. center hooks me up, Pap Squally. Okay. And then <laughs> I <laughs> fucking just write indies and reds and bones, street tags. Nice. Yeah. Are you sponsored by anybody right now, or? Uh, yeah, a couple. Cool. Yeah. Freaking dance hooks me up. I was on Stray, the shoe company, but before this whole COVID stuff happened, they had to, I don't know, let go of a bunch of their people. And not their, yeah. Yeah, not hooking anyone up anymore. Seems like everything's being yeah. shut down from music to skaters to... Yeah, you name it. Which like, is fine. I can buy shoes. Artists are being shut deal. down. We're all being shut down. You know. Mm-hmm. Plus, like, I don't, I don't mind not having any sponsors. I mean, I'm so thankful to have a board sponsor because that's all I really want. Yeah. That's all I really need. It's like as long as I don't have to pay for boards, everything else lasts for a long time. Who's the boards again? Dance. Dance. Dance brand. Dance or dance? Dance and dance. Dance. Okay. With a Z. Dance. Yeah, no, shout out to the no. dance. Dance, nice. Dance, skateboard. <laughs> Salt Lake Bay. Let's get a shout out. No, the, he's from uh, San Diego. Oh yeah. Yeah, or Long Beach. Long Beach. Dance. L.A. Nice. Oh, okay. L.A. I think it's L.A. I think I know. So what's your Louisiana? Right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> What's your I'm I, late, Louis what's Louis your Louis. ideal situation? <laughs> what gives you passion to skate? Mm. Like if you're gonna hit something, like what's your ideal situation? Are we talking like just straight up Salt Lake street skating? Are we talking ramps? Are we talking skate parks? What's yeah. your ideal situation that Honestly, inspires you to skate? I just like having the most fun, and I find myself having the most fun at skate parks because. I don't know, my style of skating is just, I like to go fast, and I like to ollie high. Nice. Connection. Okay. Mm-hmm. Back to his roots. Back to my there roots. You go. Like, as long as I can just fucking go fast and fucking ollie something really far, like, I'll be so happy. Yeah. And, like, I like grinding, too, like, like long 50-50s. Like, Do you use pork grinds? 
Shout out to Nikki. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> gotten my package yet, and I'm really sad. <laughs> Look at that shit. He's coming up next sometime he soon. Shout out. All right, to let me ask you a Nikki. question. Yeah, yeah, please do. Um, what was your favorite like obstacle at connection? Back in because it kind of switched up a few times, but dude, there's well, so many things. Think about. I mean, it. yeah, fuck. I really enjoyed. The, I mean, my favorite obstacle. There are so many cool ones, but the one that I like thoroughly like have the most accomplishment on was the fucking handrail. The big one? The one that you know, the, they had one. Oh, double-sided? The double-sided ones. The yeah. double -sided ones, you what, know, the square what, yeah. ones. I fucking back-grinded that when yeah, I was tell like me the tricks. 14. And it was the scariest thing ever. Because, like, I didn't know how to ollie that well yet. So yeah. I couldn't get my back truck on there. So my technique to getting onto the fucking rail was I knew I could get my front truck on there. So as long as I got my front truck on there, I could lift my back truck back like on. a wheelie grinder yeah, so i would just be, <laughs> always be like da ding da ding <laughs> like grinding it was yeah. i like look back on that now and i'm like damn that was so fucking sketchy like i remember a few times trying and missing my back truck fully and just eating so much shit yeah yeah but did you, you didn't feel it as a little kid did you ever uh do the bigger rail before they switched it out Oh, the big ass one. The yeah, one. I went down the big bank no. on the drop. You never did that. Mm mm. I never was good enough did to you? try it. Oh yeah, I switched crooked right that shit. Oh, really? You switched crooked it? Yeah. <laughs> that was like a fifteen. Yeah, round. that was. Yeah. It, I mean, from what I remember guy. back in the day. So legend. He's These are two legends. You switched yeah. crooked that shit. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Actually, three. You can legends. go do that now. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> talking. No, I'm scared the shit out of that rail. Hell yeah. Well, that's so funny. But that was like the best trick. I was. That's bad. I don't fun. think anyone sounds did bad. that. So, so that's why I feel Sounds good. good. Bank rail connection. I five that shit every time. Whatever. Andy Pitts, though, fucking his heel foot back tail on the step up there. Oh, right there. Before. Oh. It. Yeah, Andy built that part. Yeah. He designed certain things just for certain tricks. That's the Andy Pitts genius. <laughs> so already got Andy Pitts. Yeah. I, I'm not familiar with this guy. Is he a local? Oh or? wow, he was a local legend back in the day. Is he local? Did, oh, he he's from uh, South Dakota, and I would consider him definitely local. He ma he made his mark for sure. No, he's, he made his mark here for sure. Oh, he's definitely Snow local. Snowboarder too, or no? Just no. pure skater. 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 He lives in he uh, does Bay now, so. He does uh, the artwork for real. I'll find him. Huh? Real yeah. skateboards. Let's get him in here. Oh, I actually yeah. think he that he's in Salt Lake right now. And he is. Yeah. Pitts. Yeah. I just heard from him. He was doing some cross country thing. What? Yeah, he might be here. He might have left, but he was here recently. Whoa, sick. I miss that dude. I haven't seen him for a oh, while. Oh, yeah, he designed that whole park. I and... miss the, like, the hustle. I mean, not the hustle. Like, I miss the ambition that he had to go out and make spots. Like, yeah. he would literally go out and, like, make the sickest street spots, like, for people to skate. Really? Like, this dude, like, he found, like, some cool ass shit downtown and just, like, made a bump over barrier that was, like, the most legendary spot. Like, made this quarter pipe to a freeway bank wall that was, like, wow. six feet tall that was. The most legendary So spot. is anyone doing that now? Fuck no. Fuck no. No dude, one's out there. Dude, there's this one kid that like had a little bit of like spunk under him, but I don't know, like I think he got a little discouraged because people didn't like him. But he would go out and like cut off like handrails and like make every handrail skatable and like yeah. go out and do some jobs that like no one else would because mm. it's like putting in work. And I respect him for that and kind of Miss him being around for that too, but mm. you know, people. Why were they hating on him? I don't know. I don't know. He was my age. Like he's just like a filmer too. He's just like. What was his name? Gabe. Gabe. So, so oh, I remember that dude. Little. He was uh, boyfriends with Ashley or something. Or no, not him. No, that was fucking. You're thinking. Uh, man, I Gabe, know. I know that. Yeah, but... No, Gabe yeah. Segura. Segura, that's totally ringing a bell. He's like a little... He's my age. Why didn't anyone like him? Dude, I, I don't I know. know. Like, like they don't like K-Fed? Kevin Federer? Oh, man. No, okay, it's not like that. 
You know that skater? I don't think it's that like local that. skater? <laughs> you know that cat? I know that. You guys love him? Or hate him? He's a porn star. Yeah. Kids. Isn't he a porn star? He thinks he is. Doesn't he get like hooked up by this lawnmower company too? He gets nothing. And he gets tans for free? I don't know. That's oh, he did a more But he commercial. fucking can rip. Who doesn't want a free tan? They, 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 I'd love a free he, face up. He was a Mormon yeah. spokesman for a minute. Something, yes. Pro he, skater. Keep your feet up. Believe me, he, I, he keeps hitting me up to skate in the yeah, basement. He's, he's he used to stay in my basement. And I Keep tried, your feet on the board the whole time. That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> you can take it off every once in a while to push, but that's it. He, yeah, he's... Huh. Okay. I'll so lie. that's the magic of it is... Keep your feet on the board? Keep so your feet what, on the board. Get into that. Get into that. Yeah. Tell us what you mean. What magic is this? Yeah, no, I, I, I like tell, tell us what you mean. Like bonuses and shit. Like, whatever. Yeah. I just like, I don't know, but if that's your fucking main trick, learn something else. Jesus Christ. Like, oh, I see. There's a lot of things to do on a skateboard, and if you like, all you can do is take your foot off and put it back on. <laughs> Come on. It's just like. So what about Big Air? <laughs> huh? What about Big Air? Your game. Yeah. Getting Big Air. Big Air is not Big Air never gets off. old. You keep the feet on me, with like, Big Air. To me, the stuff, the footage I've seen of you, like you're, to me, you I love what seem very say. street skate <laughs> exactly. wise, but you got like a street Wait. skate Big Air style. Like, you're not like in some ramp at the X Games trying to like, Oh, let's check the meter of how high you fucking got. <laughs> it's like, I've seen footage of you jumping shit that's like 20 feet, yeah. but you're just jumping it. I don't know, you a know? long time ago when I fucking started skating, like back to this house that I grew up in, but like there was a group of neighborhood kids that like skated too, and like fucking, there was one day that like, like this homie like was awing from like a, a full skateboard distance from nose to tail, like, and, like, to him clearing that whole thing, like, a gap, like, was, like, the most fucked up thing to me, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna make it a goal in my life in skating to see how long I can jump, like, yeah. on my skateboard, and, like, I was just like, you know what, that's, like, gonna be my new favorite thing. Cool. So, I always thought, like, damn, it'd be so sick just to, like, travel so far on your skateboard in the air and see how far you can go. Yeah. And like, gnawing too. Gnawing is like the coolest thing ever because you pop off your nose and if you can travel that with that tree. I don't know, it's just like little kid thinking, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Some cool shit. I wanted to make a video. Well, about uh, we were also, coming. we're talking about, we're talking about uh, getting some people together in the skate community. Um, I don't know what the plans are, so I think Snuggies is on it. But we're gonna do like a Friday night skate something here. Flat bar sick. Fridays. Flat bar Ooh. Fridays. Mm. Cool. Bring so a just get some barbecue yep. and just whoever wants to bring a box or a bar or a fucking jump ramp. Yeah. Quarter pot, right. whatever. Yeah. I got wood to make We're kind of off the grid here in it's, East Mill uh, Creek. It's yeah. quiet. This parking lot quiet on a Friday night. So we smooth, just a little downhill. Yep. yep. No pushing. Perfect hill. Keep that your feet on the board. That's true. That's yeah. so sick. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah, about this time it's just empty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll get the broom out and yeah. get rid of the fart rocks. And <laughs> that's so dope. Well, dude, we don't want to keep you on the grill too long, dude. I think that's a cut. It's Unless good. you guys have any other questions. It's good. I want to ask him who, 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 yeah. who's the up and comers in Salt Lake right now. Oh, yeah, good question. Well, he was I like a couple dude. Tyson. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you. Let's, little side note. So, uh, Cordell. What was featured in that part? I was really hyped on that. Yeah. Um, were you on that trip from Barcelona? I was. Yeah. But yeah. Tyson, Did you Tyson, watch that shit go down? So it is the same no. session as the fucking Smith Back 360. No, I mean freaking. I showed up the day, two days after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Tyson left the day that I showed up. Oh. And then Cordell just kicked it with us when we were there. <laughs> I was. It was such a bummer. Cordell. Dude. Just like, Holy fine. shit! In the Thrasher. Tyson got to get on this. Dude, Tyson. Tyson's a shit. Dude, Who's the Space Nuts fuck? guy? Space Nuts? Oh, that's our homie, Justin Gurr. We need to get him here. Yeah, okay, keep going. What's, give us some other names. Space Nugs. Space Nugs, yeah. yeah. He lives in Colorado. Space oh, Nugs. He's, like he's my, local. No, he li he's like one of... We need Sam Hubble. We're going to get Sammy here. Yep, Hubble. We're going to get Nikki here. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, two for. Yeah. She could get, she get Caleb too. Uh, I don't know. If Why would lizard. you say I'm not? <laughs> you can get everybody. It's like you can imagine. Get Mike, Mike, is Mike lizard too cool? For Mike school? in the block. You're coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeremy Jones. There we go. <laughs> and what's his name? You know it, Vic Chen. Who was it? What was Mike his name? Mike Blunt. That uh, name. I always think about J2 when I hear that name. Yeah. J2, I met J2 a long time ago when I was Nate Bozong, get him on. Yeah. I always stayed at my <laughs> Dude, were you on the bomb hole cast? Huh? Bomb hole? Oh, Greg Hayes thing? Yeah. No, no. Not me. I thought it's I'm not a moment. snowboarder, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like the snowboarder. Yeah, it's a rich man's sport. Oh, there you go. It I mean, is I'm, now. I like it. It didn't used to be. <laughs> you don't have to be rich. Shout out to the bomb hole cast. Okay, who else in the skate? Cast. Who else is skating coming up? In Salt Lake. In Salt Lake. Let me think. Locals. Locals only. Who's that? Oh, there's a lot. Who's I got the biggest that. dick yeah, in town? I, mean, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't even want to like think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the next? <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I. Uh, I you don't need like, to think about it. Who's who's fucking big dick in around town? Is what I'm yeah, saying. I who's going like, big? I like little Mikey. Little Mikey. Yeah, Mikey. Yo, Mikey. Freaking. Uh, yeah, backdoor cruiser or some shit on Instagram. He's he's probably one of the sickest in my opinion. Backdoor cruiser shout out. Yeah, that's cool. I'll look him out. I like I like his style for sure. And then mm, mark that down, backdoor cruiser. I keep, I'm gonna listen to it yep. all. And then, so we're we're gonna get it all. I don't get yeah. Man, backdoor cruiser's got a big old cock. Okay. <laughs> all the like shit vortex <laughs> homies are fucking sick. Like yeah. The tunas and... The tunas! The tunas. The tuna, tuna hooked me up at Smidelli's. We had the tunas. Yeah, fuck yeah. He just hooked me up too. That was sick. <laughs> Shout out Smidelli's! <laughs> We're gonna get the owner. Who's the owner of Smidelli's? Mac, Mac and Sam. Sam. Mac and Sam, come on in. Spinelli's. <laughs> we'll no, dude, we'll thanks have... for coming, man. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're just archiving Appreciate people. It. We're archiving history. Skate style, mm -hmm. art style, everything. Yeah, hopefully. All the weirdos like we can find, we're gonna bring them in here. The weirder the better. I'm pretty yeah. weird, dude. Yeah. You got a limp? You're in here. <laughs> you were the weirdest. <laughs> you got a limp? So many bones that I can't move my arms. Do you need right. a beer? Sure. Totally. No good night. beer. We're good night. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna good night. That. Of course, yeah, it's good. Yeah. And everybody always comes. You can always.